When I was in college, I took a class on the relativity of color. It was amazing. It changed how I understood color and its effect on what we see. Color perception is a fantastic phenomenon that involves the reflection of light and how our eyes and our brain translate what we are seeing. Everything is dependent on the local color of the objects we view. And that color is affected by the environmental color surrounding the color we think we are seeing. So, in essence, the color we think we are seeing is relative rather than fixed. I'm Michelle Levan, the artist artist, coming to you from the ArtPrintExpress.com studio. I work with color every day when I digitally photograph artwork and color correct it to make it as close as possible to the original. Today I want to share with you some interesting illusions color can create and give you an additional appreciation of the important role color has to play in our perceptions. In this picture, you see two blocks of color that are the exact same. If we place them on two separate backgrounds, suddenly they appear to, to be two different colors. What is happening here is that your eyes are being overwhelmed with the large color fields, and the same color as the field is being pulled out of the smaller boxes, making them appear to be a different color. Now I want to show you two more color fields with what appears to be the same color of the squares. If we take away the color fields, you will see that the boxes are in fact two different colors. Again, the two fields are pulling just enough color out of the center boxes to make them appear to be the same. Now I want to show you another phenomenon called vibrating colors. Many artists use this in their painting to make them come alive. Here is an image with strange colored beads. If you shift your eyes across the image, it will appear that the beads are moving. I promise you that this is actually a static image and not a trick of the camera. This is what we call vibrating colors. Looking carefully, you will notice that the colors opposite of, on the color wheel, like orange and blue and purple and yellow, are used in the image to trick your eyes into seeing the beads move. What you are experiencing is special combinations of colors and they're being translated by your brain as the rods and cones in your eyes snap off and on as a result they appear to be moving. Here is another copy of this image where I've changed the purple to a dark yellow and now the image is still and your rods and cones in your eyes are no longer excitedly switching so the beads no longer appear to be moving and I might add not nearly as interesting to look at. As long as any complementary color scheme is kept, the beads will move again. Here is the image once again with another complementary color scheme and moves like the first one. Color is just simply amazing. This is what we call the relativity of color. We can experience this nearly every day and I deal with this with every piece that I digitize and print. Here are two extreme adjusted color photos. They are the same scene, but I have adjusted them so that one is very warm and the other is very cool. I want you to take a good look at the pillow in the foreground. Do they appear slightly different in color? Well, if we take away the rest of the photos, you will notice that both of the pillows are the exact same color. And it was their environment that made them turn gray to blue and green. As you can see, color is tricky, and I hope that you enjoyed this small look into the relativity of color. Artists use these techniques in their paintings in numerous ways. I invite you to go take a look at the artwork with Artitude on ArtPrintExpress.com's website and see if you can find some works that use any of these techniques to make color come alive in their image. If you have found this information useful, please share it with your friends and until next time, may your life be filled with artitude.